everyone, let's take a look at multiple choice number six. So we have in a statistics course, a linear regression equation. So I'm gonna pick my highlighter and I see that we are dealing with linear regression. All right, and I'm gonna put here that we're dealing with regression. So this is gonna be a chapter 12 problem. And I'm gonna be on the lookout for two numerical variables. All right, so in a stats course, a linear regression equation was computed to predict the final exam score. All right, there's one of my numerical variables from the score on the first test. There's my second numerical variable. All right, the equation, oh, they actually did the LSRL for us. There's the predicting equation where Y is the final exam score. So there is my response variable. And here is my explanatory variable. Okay, great. So Carla scored 95 on the first test and 98 on her final. So I'm just gonna write that as an ordered pair. So she was 95 and then 98, right? This is, whoops, I don't know what that was. Let me shrink that a bit. This was X comma Y. So she got 95 on her first test, 98 on her final. Great. What is the value of her residual? Okay, well, residuals are always the actual Y value minus the predicted Y value. And in this case, for Y values, right, or if we think about our Ys, that's our final exam score. So I'm going to actually write the actual final exam score minus the predicted final exam score. So final... I'm just gonna write score because I don't have enough room. Final score. Okay, now I know her actual final exam score was 98, and then I need to subtract her predicted final score. And how do I find her predicted final score? Oops, that was not supposed to be an eraser. I have my predicting equation. So let's go ahead and use y hat equaling 10 plus 0.9x. This is literally, this symbol right here means predicted, that's the hat part. And then y is the final exam score. And all I need is an x value. Well, I, I do know the x value, right? We were told it was 95, so let me plug that in. This is going to be 10 plus 0.9 times 95. Now I'm going to go over to my calculator app and plug this in. And let's just see what, what we get from this. So let me head over and clear this out. So we're going to have 10 plus, and we had, what, 0.9 times her first exam score of 95. So it looks like we predicted her final exam was gonna be 95, which is fine. So we, we had a little bit of an underestimate. All right, so let me go ahead and write 95.5. And when I subtract those two numbers, I'm gonna wind up with, that would be positive 2.5. Uh, and there's my answer. All right, so that's how we found that residual. Thanks so much.